Hello and welcome back and today we want to continue our look at comparing mobile applications from Synology and QNAP. Today we want to look at photos. We're going to use the DS photo application and compare it against the QPhoto application from QNAP. Straight away, unsurprisingly, the QNAP application is a lot more analytical, it's got a lot more options and details and obviously there are changes to the application which are a little bit more photo specific. DS photo is a little bit more of a streamlined uh, user experience, a lot more user friendly I'd say, but far more limited in terms of overall options that said if you do if you are thinking of getting a Synology NAS for photos definitely look at Synology moments that is by far the better of all of them but today we're comparing the photo apps so the Synology application opens into the direct um, directory of all of your photos then you can arrange it by thumbnail mode map mode timeline we've only uploaded a few um, albums to that to get to grips with it and there's the map mode being shown on screen on QNAP, however, the QNAP one, we haven't even finished getting through all of the options and stuff that we go through when we initially open it up. Now, you don't have to go through these, but it's nice to see stuff like um, photo resolution changes, uh, individual music choices in um, slideshow mode, 360 degree video mode, 360 degree photo mode, um, Google Cardboard and VR support, huge amount of support there and different options available from the QNAP app. But once again, while we're talking about this, the Synology app has got those simplistic options from before, but words like simplistic are very negative. They are, it is streamlined. It's a much easier user-friendly experience, but it does lack a lot of the little extra options that a number of us want. So I'm going through the options there on the Synology one, and that's basically shared albums and individual albums. And at the same time, the QNAP one opens directly into our shared folder. Um, um, shared photo folder there that's got individual albums there there's pictures from a trip to the zoo that I took with some members of family um, but again the thumbnail generation um, is pretty equal on both of them I've mentioned before that the Synology one seemed to do it quicker on the left here uh, on the Synology app you can see us creating new albums um, but thumbnail generation is pretty even across the pair of them in this app so if you're worried about thumbnail generation on either NAS don't worry this does a good job. On the Synology, of course, we upload photos. Sorry, on the right-hand side there, I'm slightly distracted uh, by the 360-degree view and cardboard view testing there for different hardware. On the Synology app here, backing up individual folders and files is very, very easy. Um, and you can also um, set it up so it only backs up photos or only backs up certain kinds of photos with certain extensions. And you can break it down into an individual folder level, but it should be mentioned that these, um, this, this uh, PhotoStation app does require a little bit of work on the desktop variant of PhotoStation um, to set up a number of the different directories and getting the NAS to search in certain locations for your photos. But that said, once that's set up on a desktop level, the DS Photo app does loads. On the QNAP app, you can see on the right here the ability to cast the photos or the um, slideshow that you've created to multiple devices. In this case, I'm watching it currently on my phone, but I could have streamed it to a Kodi box locally. And every photo has lots of options there. Um, sharing the file, email, save to your phone, save, save to a certain directory or gallery, and of course, map mode, so we can set out uh, the system where all of our photos are detailed across an entire map. Unfortunately, because that photo was taken on an SLR that wasn't that smart, uh, there's no geotagging information. Moving over to the Synology, of course, there's, we're looking at photos there from a wedding I attended in Ireland. And we can see, quite straightforward, it's very fast. You've got to give it that. Yes, I'm running on network as opposed to 4G uh, with LAN. But again, very quick. There's all our geotagging information, where the photo was taken, the size of the file, the resolution, and the camera that took the photo. Lovely touch there. And that for even for Synology, that's a huge amount of information for a company that generally isn't too um, open about giving technical information readily. Now on the QNAP, we're exploring a lovely feature here where you can actually take a photo live within the app, there's my study, take the photo and it instantly uploads to the NAS to a mobile phone picture directory. And you can do that with video or photo, which is incredibly handy when you're on, on holiday or anything like that and you're searching around and you see something good and you instantly want to upload those photos. Yes. Both applications give you the ability to share files and photos, make them private, shared link with passwords or public. But whereas the Synology lets you back up older photos, the QNAP lets you back up um, old photos 
and brand new ones as you take them. It should be mentioned, remember, we are reviewing the apps, not the NAS brand. So the Synology there, you can see the code, you can see my local phone, uh, where you want to stream and play back the files to. But nevertheless, they are very similar, but as we've seen time and time and again with these two brands, the Synology gives you a, you know, a smooth, easy user interface that the more technically minded will find a little limiting, whereas the QNAP throws all the information at you straight away, even in the mobile phone app. And again, if you like to have that little area of bespoke control, that little amount of support um, with regards to tinkering directories and stuff like that, this does give it to you. Now, what we were doing on the QNAP app here was seeing how much, how fast we could get those thumbnails generated. Now, it should be stated that the Synology did seem to generate uh, thumbnails quicker over time. Look at that burnt waffle there in the background. But here's an example of us um, looking at an individual photo and tinkering with the settings on the QNAP there. And again, the Synology, just showing you briefly how to share individual folders and files. So, you know, they've both got the facility to it. There's the map functionality on the QNAP there. Um, they've both got very similar features and functionality, but there's still no denying that I feel there are more functions in the QNAP application than there are in the Synology. Now, that said, Synology have got the Synology Moments um, application for DSM and for mobile. And I've got to tell you, I might even do um, a versus of Synology Moments versus QPhoto because there is a real good contest because the, the QNAP um, photo app, as good as it is, and all those extra options and features, Moments has got that incredible facial recognition and that great um, deep thinking, smart, um, was it? Uh, AI learning in the background for recognizing themes, recognizing locations, recognizing people. And that's something that I think QNAP are trying to introduce with facial recognition, but it is nowhere near as polished as the Moments application right now. But nevertheless, that has been comparing these two apps. I would go as far as to say that for me, oh look, there's the QNAP with the ability to go straight to the directory of your NAS. The QNAP for me does win this because the QNAP, might, some might find that it's giving you lots of them features and functionality that you're not gonna use. But for me personally, you don't know whether you're gonna use them. And I would rather have the option to ignore than to be denied it straight off the bat. There are more options available to you, whether you're a home, mid-range or business photographer that wants to be able to view your photos in a number of ways. And definitely that ability for 360 and uh, VR and Google Cardboard are definitely, definitely features and functionality that I think are sadly lacking from the Synology application. But nevertheless, this has been a comparison of the photo apps. Soon we'll do the video apps and more, but otherwise thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.